the anatomy of a perfect sales letter. Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday with me, Phil Jones, and no one else. So what is the anatomy of a perfect sales letter? I'm just going to give you the really quick basics um, for you to note down and for you to work through um, so you can try and write your own perfect sales letter. So right at the top is a headline. It's really important to remember this. Um, probably the number one aspect of a sales letter that people don't do and uh, the number one aspect of a letter that is super important. So um, when you're writing a headline, think about joining a conversation in someone's head or creating some kind of intrigue. Um, you want the reader to read it and, and feel obliged and intrigued to carry on reading through uh, the letter. So really think about your headline. It's probably the most critical part of the letter because without a high quality headline, the chance of someone reading um, the letter is, is much reduced, which is the whole point. Uh, next is the sub headline. So you've got them to, um, you've got their attention and now you need to solidify that. And at this point, you either need to clarify what you've just said in the headline or you need to make a bold point which um, will grab their attention. So a bold opinion that they may disagree with or they may strongly agree with. But the idea is that you try and polarise at that point. Uh, because if, if they agree, uh, they'll come and read them because they feel affinity. If they disagree, they want to hear your opinion or to prove themselves right. Um, Next we have the opening paragraph. The, 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 what you need to do in the opening paragraph is try and create some kind of rapport. At this point, they're probably um, on the fence of disappearing and not reading or, or they'll, they'll, um, you can convince them to carry on. So you need to make sure at this point that you explain why it's important for them to carry on reading, why you've sent them the letter, why it's, um, why it's critical to um, the outcome they want to achieve that they carry on reading, which is quite difficult to do. Um, any, with anything with sales letters, the idea is that you write it and write it and write it again and, and it can take 30, 40, 50 different versions until you get it right. So just keep writing um, what's in your head, try not to make it formal, um, but try and have a conversation, imagine a conversation that you're having a chat with someone and uh, what would you explain at this point to get them to listen to you. A good way to create rapport um, in the opening paragraph is by telling a story. So think about the, the possible pain points that the reader is likely to be um, experiencing and then tell a story about how um, you've helped someone who has experienced exact same pain points recently um, tell them about what they, the kind of things they were saying, what the kind of things they were thinking when you met them um, and then as you go through the body of the, of the text keep telling the story and tell them this is the part that you can almost sell to them without selling to them so you can tell them how um, by certain things that you did as a company, as an agent, um, it, al it allowed them to um, to move on in their lives and took the pain points away. So that's this is the really important thing at this stage. Um, you're still well away from um, having any kind of relationship with them, so you you have not got the um, it's not a time to try and sell to them whatsoever. So you can sell through the back door by um, telling a story and positioning the story um, with the pain points that, that you expect them to be experiencing. For example, if they're not selling at the moment, um, you need to talk about how the market's really strong and um, it's probably quite embarrassing for them not selling at the moment. If they're not selling, then the house is either not very nice, it's ridiculously overpriced or something is seriously wrong. So they're the kind of pain points you need to be touching on. Um, as to what someone has spoken to you and how you turned their situation around and gave them a result. Um, testimonials is next. So once you've told them uh, the full story about what happened, the impact on their lives, now you need testimonials to back it up from other people. Um, high quality testimonials, talking about uh, good service, talking about being friendly, it's just irrelevant. It's white noise. You can you can go to every estate agency website in the country if you don't believe me. Try it, and I can guarantee you that your testimonials will be pretty much exact same as them. And I've been challenged on this numerous times, and people have said, "Look how good this testimonial is," and they're absolutely pants. The um, just because it, it's ego, and they say, "Oh, John did a very good job," it, it doesn't mean anything. So 
there is a video um, that we've made about testimonials. Stick to that structure. Try and ask them to stick to that structure, and that'll give you um, key information and key um, pain points to work with for the reader, for them to build up trust and um, and to believe the points that um, the person that's given the testimonial says. Uh, next, you want to go into a call to action. So you've just built up um, the trust with the story, you've, you've added to that with social proof and testimonial, now is the time to ask them to take an action. Um, think about, if it's the first letter, it might not be the right opportunity and the right time to um, go for a vowel, or it, it might be at that stage and then you can back off in letter two and three. Um, but think about a really simple way um, that they can contact you without losing face, without um, opening themselves up to to too much pressure or obligation, what's the simplest way they can do that? Think about that and give them the opportunity to do so. And then the last paragraph, what you want to do really is tell them what you've told them, um, tell them in a different way and then tell them in a different way again. So keep repeating exactly the main point of the letter um, and the main point you want them to take away. And then you wanna finish up with a PS, um, which is to ask them the call to action again in a slightly different manner. So. Um, at this point, you, you, what you need to appreciate is that someone may just read the headline and just read the PS. So you need to give them the opportunity to, to understand what you need them to do or what you want them to do from this letter. So be clear with the call to action, make it simple to do, quick to do, and hopefully they will respond. If you've got any questions or you want those sales letters written for you, then Go to www.fire-wave.co.uk slash start. You can fill in um, your regular details on there. See if your area is free. And if it is, we can maybe work together and we will write, we will slave over these sales letters for you. If not, try and uh, have a go yourselves. Um, we get ridiculous results. Um, a lot of our clients get unbelievable ridiculous results better than us, um, so why not you?